So I talked about this already, but I was a little late to the Hamilton train. But once I got on, I was here for it. And with that, I really started looking into the cast. I'm going to watch their interviews as they're, you know, promoting the release on Disney+. Plus. And in one Sirius XM interview of most of the cast, most of the original cast, I saw David Diggs' shirt and it would come in and out because you know how like they cut the frames with the Zoom calls and stuff. And I was like, oh wait, what did that say? And then I looked closer at that where I paused and it said, how perfect does a black woman have to be, be before we mourn her? And I was like, oh wee! Like it was, I was just like, period. Like it was just a question, black and white shirt. And I was just like, yeah, like how perfect does one have to be? You know, being black and a woman in America, in the world are two, not strikes, but just setbacks, hurdles that make just the most basic things a little bit just more difficult unnecessarily so. And it's just crazy that to be worthwhile, to be appraised, to be mourned properly, you have to be perfect you have to be beautiful you have to be smart you have to be kind you have to be smart you have to, like all these things I think so smart right but you know what I mean like you have to just be 10 in all factors I mean even like Megan the freaking stallion bro I mean 510 light skin from Houston natural body got shot in the foot got shot in her feet and she's still like getting clowned getting made fun of it it's just like I mean she could have potentially that could have been a fatal accident that night but it's like the fact that even Megan the Stallion, someone who I feel like is so perfect, still isn't perfect enough, just proves just how a black woman really has to just be one of one perfect in people's eyes to make her worthwhile. And this book explains why that is and how we can work on that. your girl Savvy C. Welcome to another episode of Cover to Cover, a weekly video series we talk about all things books. And today I'm talking about Shayla Lawson's This Is Major, notes on Diana Ross, Dark Girls, and Being Dope. I came across this book just through Instagram, through just a few hashtags and a fellow bookstagrammers, if you will, that I follow. And the name and just the, the captions that they put the reviews that they had in the cover alone really caught my attention caught my eye and I thought it was really cool too that this book came out on June 30th of this year so just a quarantine book which you know pretty rare these days or maybe not yeah. anyways that was cool so I picked it up via Kindle my first book that I bought on Kindle and I loved it right away Shayla breaks down in 17 essays a series of essays a collection of essays black womanhood the essence of it the origins of it uh the things that we've been able to do in history over time our culture the good the bad and the ugly basically of just black womanhood and she does it so so well as a writer and resident at Amherst College she's able to really manipulate language and use it in a way that's funny educational uh, therapeutic and just overall just a pleasure and a great much needed reflection and just celebration of black women of black girls of all ages and all you know stages of life all colors right I really loved how from Jump she starts off talking about American Girl dolls and then it wraps the book up with talking about and this is who I am just in case you forgot I am Blah, 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 and this listed off this bow 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 it was so so great I particularly loved in this book how she was able to really dissect culture so she talks about you know interracial dating black girl magic she talks about um Portland moving to the northwest thinking that you know just racism is just home to the south um talking about workplace so um Tammy at HR right just all these different aspects that she's able to pull from from herself from her own personal experience so it's a bit of a memoir but it's also having historical and re rooted in research to give again an educational aspect to it but also just having her personality shine through and her writing and her experiences and her stories that make it just so funny and so enjoyable to read what I love the most about this book and what I really would recommend to anyone, but especially all my black girls out there, duh, is how she's able to also critique uh, just the, the black community and critique 
our treatment of one another and just the treatment of black women over the years. I think oftentimes a lot of literature written by black girls for black girls or by black people for black people, FUBU, you know, esque things can oftentimes really put blinders up and acting like we're just this way because of oppression, which absolutely I'm not at all taking away from oppression at any means. Hope that does not come out that I'm acting like, you know, slavery, Jim Crow, uh, prison system, you know, school to prison pipeline system, etc. Redlining, list can go on and on and on. Gerrymandering, you know, there's all those things are in place. But also black people ourselves have played a role in colorism and, you know, tearing us down and having someone, an icon like Diana Ross and hating her for just being herself. And I was really thankful and really appreciative and also just really it was really eye-opening to see her break that down and to talk about you know how her herself and she was able to really put herself out there really be vulnerable again going back to Diana Ross talking about how seeing this black woman who just embraced herself fully and just showed up to the world unapologetically herself really bothered her because for so long we're taught to just you know be these little perfect things be in a box you know be very you know cut and dry whatever we can don't ruffle as many feathers take what we can get because you know we were we're no we're descendants of slaves our ancestors were enslaved locked up had it far worse than we have it now and so therefore you know we should be thankful for what we have and diana ross and so many other women that she listed were like you know mm -mm, we're, we're not gonna do that and seeing that can make you know someone resent you and can be uh something that can spark anger in them and jealousy because they realize that in their life that they're not that way that they're not allowed to be their full selves and their jobs and their family and their relationships and their friendships whatever and so i was really thankful that she spoke on that i also love too i was talking about this to my roommate kayla or my old roommate oh that we moved out uh shouts to her we talked about how this like this idea of like black girl magic right or just like black excellence and how for just a black woman to be worthwhile to be admired to be looked up to in this world we have to be these mythical beings we have to just be this these excellent beings we have to be beyonce michelle obama oprah you know we have to be just like top tier cream creme de la creme and you know we can't just be like you know just our, our normal selves like and it's really frustrating too because you know you feel like I put a lot of pressure or used to put a lot of pressure on myself to just be this thing right you know we have to be better than our parents be better than our grandparents or our ancestors wildest dreams but in carrying that burden you know when you don't maybe hit what you view as success whatever that may be maybe that be you know six figures in the bank or a certain car buying a house for your family whatever when you don't hit that, then it's just, you just feel pointless. You feel useless. And I really liked how she broke down the origins of Black Girl Magic and how at first it wasn't Black Girl Magic, it's Black Girls Are Magic because of just who we are and how we really are just the blueprint for culture, how we really have throughout just from the day one, you know, from day one till now, have really been at the root of so many trends of so much cultural just concept and cultural history. I just really loved how she broke that down and just like you don't have to be, you know, Diana Ross, Beyonce, whoever, you can just be yourself. And that is magical enough as is. And that was just a really much needed uh, message and reminder to me. I recommend this to all my black girls out there. So I give this five stars because of that reason, because she was able to just be vulnerable, praise black girl culture, give us the much needed pep talk, a much needed like literary hug, but also critique it and also say like, look, this is how things were, but we can easily change that. And this is how I love that dichotomy within a book. It provides a really rich, uh, holistic approach to just black literature in my opinion again recommend this to all black girls out there especially those who might be feeling a little discouraged um those who might feel a little guilty for hitting a certain level of success or maybe doing things that you couldn't believe you are um out you know doing your family quote unquote etc i really recommend it for those black girls it's a great read quick you'll laugh you'll cry you'll say I don't ask right and you know everything in between it gives the whole whole just great uh emotions and reflection and just everything that 
a book can offer. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'm sending love to so wherever you are in the world where you're watching this. In August, you're listening to Black Women all month. And even, you know, it's not going to end of this month. We're going to keep listening to Black Women. But in August in particular, we're listening to Black Women via literature, via books. And also, I'm celebrating just Black-owned businesses this month by wearing paraphernalia, wearing clothes from uh, Black-owned businesses that I have supported. And this is one of them. This is from Legendary Roots. Let me, I probably just cut away, but this is from Legendary Roots with a Z, not an S, you know, cultures roots you know i'm feeling me and this says protect all black girls so it's like protect weird black girls protect trans black girls hood black girls nerdy black girls fat black girls dark skin black girls protect all black girls period i love this shirt so so much uh and yeah and i will see you guys next friday bye